guys, how's it going and welcome back. So we are here with the Havoc mouse and the software that you can use to actually program things. Otherwise you're kind of stuck with forward, backward, scrolling up and down and the center click, whatever it can do, and your left and right swapping that you can do through windows for your left and right keys. And of course you can change your lighting, you know, which is fine. So. If you want to get to the nitty gritties of the program and actually use it as a gamer's mouse for some of your more fun little gamer features, then you need to download the software. Now, it does have to be precisely specific download to the exact model of your Havoc device. In this case, Kevy just bought the mouse, the wife bought the mouse and the keyboard, so that's a different program for her because it's a combo kit download. And we have a little program that's a standalone. And that's all it is. Other than it does create a macro bin file, which is useless to you to try and open, okay? But it does create the macro bin on the desktop. So these live on your desktop. I guess you could probably put them somewhere else and launch them from somewhere else, but um, I think the micro macro bin would probably have to live on your desktop. That I'm not sure of. I haven't messed with it that far yet to see if I can move it somewhere else, but I like to have some icons on my desktop, so do a lot of other people, so who really cares, right? Anyways, let's get on and have some fun here. So under our left click button, we have standard mouse keys, of course, special keys, media, web, so you can assign uh, internet web things to your left button. Now, I think it'd be kind of stupid to program your left button because that's the one we generally use to open up programs and close our programs, you know, that sort of thing, right? So I think the left button is a little bit out to lunch for having to program it. However, if you prefer to swap your keys because you rather open and close things with your right button, you could do that too, okay? So you can swap them that way. Special keys, of course, there's different functions. Um, that you can assign to that key specifically. And you can do all the same stuff with the right button and there's also a user defined area as well. The middle click, which is your wheel, okay, where you click down on it, you can assign features to it. Now, the majority of us, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, for those of you who are on my channel, I think the majority of us out there don't even use the center click button at all. However, we do have that ability, in this case, to user define it specific for a program. Um, we can have it open up our calculator. We can flip it right to the desktop to go to my computer. Um, base macros, there's nothing in the list, so I have no idea. There is a macro section that you can play with. Uh, we'll get to that after. Um, web searching, um, web forward, web backwards. Instead of using your front and back keys, you can use it to do one of those functions. Um, of course, you have forward, which is your forward clicker, which is on the side that's controlled by your thumb. <coughs> now, you can do a lot of these programmings as well. I think I'll probably program them for swapping weapons or something and disable the scroll feature for that because usually I'll use the scroll or I'll use a number key, whatever. But I, I may actually switch that and we'll see. But uh, we can do the same thing forward and backward. Then you have the DPI button, which you can leave as DPI. Now the DPI, what it does is it controls the speed of your mouse tracking, okay, from one point to its maximum point. And you can bypass this key because sometimes you'll actually hit it by accident. It can really screw you up in a game. <laughs> Trust me, been there. Um, you can assign it to do something else, which likely, when I get motivated, I will assign it to something else. So this way it can be the same thing in whatever game. Anyways, so that's our DPI loop section. We can make it do a lot of these same things as well. Under the advanced mode, this is where we can get specific DPI for its settings. Now, the lowest setting, of course, is 500. Then we have uh, 800. It goes to stages 1,000, 12, 16, and right on up to 8,000 DPI. So you can have the switch do what you want it to do within that range. So usually 800 is uh, a pretty comfy range. Um, but you have what, one, two, three, four, five, six different selections for DPI um, in this, and that's what I've been finding the DPI switch actually does. 
moving speed of course 5 to 11 so you can really juice things up double click speed rolling speed so your scroll wheel uh, firing intervals repeat intervals up to a 255 uh, or just hit continuously now under light we can disable the lights now anytime you make a selection no matter where you are in the section you have to hit apply for each one to take effect separately so you can't just set up a bunch of stuff, go to advanced, do the same thing, go to light, do the same thing, and then hit apply and expect it all to take place because it's not going to. It has to be for each thing you actually do. So we've now clicked disabled. So as you can see, my, my, my uh, mouse is doing its thing. So we're going to go over to apply. And I'm going to lift the mouse up so you can see. And boom. And lights off. Okay, we can do the same thing with um, the LED brightness. We're on all, which is full. We can select half the amount of brightness. So if you don't like how bright it is, which I'm fine with it no matter what, most of us would be. And then we hit apply. That is supposed to take the brightness to half. I don't see any real change there myself, but I'll have to put it down into the light here. Okay, let's go back to all. It does make a little bit of a difference. Okay, now LED mode. You have the DPI mode, uh, which we hit apply for that. Now it just changes the pulse. And it looks like we're just stationary on green here. So we can't actually choose the color, but DPI is set on green only. It's too bad I couldn't have set that last gamer keyboard to just green. Even if it just lightly pulsed green, I would have been happy. Anyways, multicolor. So we get multicolors going on. And then we have rainbow. So apply. And it goes through all the colors of the rainbow basically. Kind of fades them, which is kind of neat. Flow light, of course, is where we started. Uh, waltz. Anybody want to learn three, four time? Oh, come on. Hit apply. There we go. So this is our waltz. And then we have four seasons. A little different. <coughs> so I kind of like the flow light myself. Now you can also change the breathing speed as well. Notice I say breathing because it's like a it's like a slow or a medium pulse. It's a breathing thing as it scrolls through stuff. Um, you can change that. I, I prefer it on fast, but you can take it right down to one. Hit apply, and it's going to be slower than you can believe. It's like really slow. It's almost like it takes forever to change something. But it's very slow. But I prefer fast. I'm a kind of a speed freak kind of guy. Now, then of course we have our macro area, which I don't know anything about this macro stuff, so honestly, I don't care. So I'm staying out of there, but if you understand and know about macros, give her. Then of course we have our different languages. We have English. Hey, let me out of here. Okay, so we're on English. Let's go to Russian. This is definitely not Russian, so there's a lot of question marks. So even though Russian is a selection, they didn't program Russian in because, let me tell you, Russian is not full of question marks. And then, of course, German, they did get in here. So if you can understand and know what German is, then you're okay. And the German word for reset is reset. Go figure. Okay? But you can do all this stuff and... It's all in German. 
I prefer English, to be honest. So, and we hit apply, and we're back in English. Okay, so that's the, the basics of the program. I would have done this in a much fuller screen, but you can't increase the screen size of this program, okay? So even doing a screenshot thing would have probably been a bit closer up for you guys, but then you wouldn't have been able to see what happens with the mouse. So I wanted you to be able to see that as well. So anyway, as far as the mouse goes, I've done a review on this mouse, so do check it out. And of course, in that review, I promised you this, which I now have given you. So enjoy and have fun with that. Now, do check out the Havoc uh, Gamer products. Um, they're all over Amazon, probably many other places. Uh, we got our Havoc products from Amazon. Very inexpensive too, which is fantastic. I love the word cheap. Works for me. Um, and you know, it's not a cheap mouse by any means. It's, it's, you know, I mean cheap build quality. It's actually pretty decent. You know, and for a basic gamer mouse, you can do a lot with this thing. Um, once you've downloaded the software, okay? And because it's a downloadable world, that's why they don't give you a CD because, come on, those things are like old school, right? I still have CD burners and so do many of you as well uh, because we have programs ourselves. But um, what gets supplied to us nowadays is 99% is all coming down to us on download off the internet kind of deal, right? which is pretty sad because there's a lot of PC games I would love to be able to buy that I even have on the PlayStation, but I'd rather have some of those on my PC. And I have to download them, like 75 gigs, 200 gigs. I mean, ridiculous. Why can't I just go to a store and buy the CDs anymore? Because it's cheaper to download. Not when you have expensive internet, it ain't. Anyways, that's my little rant. But not that it's going to help anything, you know. But um, anyway, so, so go, go check it out. Um, if you get one of these, these products from Havoc, just make sure you download the precise program for your, your product. The first time I downloaded this program, I guess between the two of us, we were kind of like, nah, and we didn't get the exact file because it would fire, but it wouldn't run the mouse. And then my wife put in a complaint to support. So it may be we did download the right thing, but support had to fix something. I don't know, but I re-downloaded specific from the website, and I found my mouse exact part number and everything, and we assume it's the same number, so they may have fixed whatever the problem was, or maybe we did get the wrong file somehow. We don't know. But either way, I got it. It works. It's functional. Voila! Um, you know, and it is a good mouse because there are boatloads of really good reviews on this mouse too, by the way. So, if this is something you're looking at and you don't want to break the bank, great way to do it. Anyways, that's in the review too. So, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, sorry I couldn't have done a bigger screen for you guys, but like I said, I wanted you to see what happens with the mouse too. So, now i got to decide, what am I going to program this mouse to do? I'm going to have to go through my video games and decide what are the most common features I'm going to use and uh, program them that way. Anyway, see ya!